everyone, Melody here today to share a project with you. This is actually a mini album that I created for my mother for Mother's Day. Um, it took me a while to complete it just because, you know, I wanted to make sure that I took my time with it. I got exactly, I got it exactly the way I wanted um, and so forth. So I'm going to start with the assembly of the album itself. And I'm using these seven gypsies tabbed cards and they were great for this project. They're a little thin though, so I'm going to make them a double layer. And then I'm going to use this Victoria um, Gardens and this um, Everyday Eclectic um, line, both from Echo Park, to do all the embellishing in the album. So I'm setting out the cards here, and I've just got them double-sided. I just um, set out, I believe it was six total sets of cards, and I'm going to use this double-sided tape to glue the cards together to make them a double layer. I'm going to show a couple to you just so you can see them, um, but then I'm going to complete the rest off camera so you don't have to sit here and watch me glue papers together. So I'm just, like I said, making them double-sided, gluing them back to back, and I'm making sure that I also put tape on the tab so it doesn't separate, especially if it's going to be handled. It's not going to be handled a whole lot, um, but it will be, you know, handled a, a little bit and looked at, um, I hope anyways, a little bit. So that's what I'm expecting. So I just want to make sure that it's, it's you know, stable. All right, so I've got my cards done here, and I'm using this real thick washi tape to... Um, bind the cards together essentially so I'm just going to cut it so it's a straight line and I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch um, in between the cards it's going to take me you know it takes a little bit just to to make sure everything's lined up properly and like I said I took my time with this I believe I have this video sped up four times so it's not quite so long um but I just wanted to make sure I shared it with you because it was a great project and my mom ended up loving it so you know, I thought it was worth the time and the effort. So I'm adding another card here. I just flipped it over and then added another card back to back um, to make sure that it all lined up. And I'm just going to add all the pages this way. <clears throat> See, I'm flipping it open. I'm going to add another one right there. And I'm just, every time I turn the page, I'm making sure that they all line up. Now, hindsight here, I probably would have waited to do the outside border until after I had embellished some of the cards because I end up making it, and not that it's it's too bulky, but I could have, you know, I could have allowed for about another eighth of an inch on the on the final one um, that I'll do, which is binding the entire thing together and covering up this exposed tape. Um, but it worked out perfectly the way I did it. I just made sure that I didn't have real bulky embellishments in the process. I like this tape. It actually says it looks like a, a scrap. I mean, a Scrabble type tape. It's got a grid, and then it says love, and it has little red hearts all over it. So it's really a cute tape, and it's a small print. So if you were to actually look at the tape, you can still see what it says. All right, this is the last page here. Just doing the binding on this one, and then I'm going to flip it over and do the outside. And this is where I said I probably would have waited to do this afterwards um, if I had thought about it, but it works perfectly fine doing it ahead of time. Just make sure that you don't make your embellishments too bulky. So I'm just going to add a final border around the outside and fold it up, making sure that all my pages are straight while I do this. And there we go. There is the book to start with. Now it comes embellishing. Um, the next part, what I actually did was sit down and I typed out all of my memories. And this was the hardest part just because, I, I mean, these are memories and this is a gift to my mother. So I wanted to make sure that I had put a lot of thought into it. So I have all my memories typed out. Now I'm going to do some embellishing and I'm going to create a mat on each of the um, pages. And I thought about covering the tabs and I'm, in, I'm not going to end up doing this but I thought about it so that's what I'm actually doing here um, I didn't have a corner rounder that fit the same um, the same shape and so it ended up looking really funny because it was either too rounded or it was just too squared so it didn't exactly match um, what the tabs were and I thought being squared on top of that rounded was just funny looking so I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch that idea and just move on to embellishing the front of the front cover. I'm going to do every page. I'm not going to show you every page as I do it. I will show you in the photos at the end. Um, but I started with this, uh, this real pretty pack from Echo Park and I bought it because I just thought it was so pretty, but it's really not my normal scrapbooking style. Like I'm not going to have these real pretty florals on pictures of 
Kaylin going to the beach. Like it just doesn't match. So, but I bought it because I thought it was so beautiful and it goes perfectly with this album for my mom because it's about memories and it's kind of sentimental. So, um, it fits perfectly. So I'm going to use it for a lot of the papers in the album, but I'm also going to mix in that other paper pad, um, that other paper collection from Echo Park, just to add a little bit more of the bright colors. They, they actually really complement each other pretty well. And I have a few pieces of solid cardstock here. I'm going to do on every page a mat, like a double mat. So it's going to be a larger piece on the back and then a mat on top of that. And then I'm going to embellish on top of that. It adds a little bit to the stability of the, of the album and it adds a little bit of a little bit more color. Um, since these are memories of my childhood, I don't have a lot of photos and the only way I could have gotten more photos was to ask my mother, but since this was a gift for her, I didn't want to ask her for pictures because then she would know what I was doing. So it's really, there are no pictures in this album. It's just memories that I've typed up and then embellishments, which still accomplishes the purpose of what I wanted, which was to give her a gift that was more, um, I guess, thought out. Um, I mean, I have nothing against buying gifts for people, but I wanted to, to make sure that I had something a little bit more, I guess, from my heart, <laughs> I guess you could say from my mom for Mother's Day this year. And I'm actually at this point, I'm actually out of glue runner or I would have been using that. Um, so I'm just using some double sided tape. Um, this project again took a couple days for me to complete. So I, I do end up getting glue runner by the end of it, but you're going to see this double sided tape a lot in the first part of this video. I love these cool gray tones. They're just so pretty. Um, and because the pages of the album itself are just that, that basic kind of manila cream color, it pretty much complements just about anything. And the washi tape I used is pretty simple and not too bold, so it doesn't really matter what colors I pick as well. So that's the front, and then here's the back. I'm going to have them exactly the same with different embellishments, of course. And after the whole album is finished, I do go back in um, on some of the corners that may stick up slightly. I go ahead and add a little bit more adhesive to it. Just a tip for if you're making a mini album before you give it as a gift or before you put it away um, for people to handle, just make sure you look for any pieces that are kind of hanging off or anything like that. So I'm just going to cut a few more pieces. And so here I've got all my mats done. You can see they're double matted. I didn't want you guys to have to watch that whole process because it took me a while to, to pick. I was being a little bit indecisive. Now, I pretty quickly choose what I want to do. Um, I have this real pretty rose up in the top left corner. My mom always had rose gardens and loved roses, so um, it just seemed fitting. And I wanted it to say memories, and I love these, these letters, but they're too big. So I'm going to kind of fiddle with them for a moment just to see if I can make them fit. Um, I can make them overlap, but it just seemed too she squished in there for me. So I'm going to give up on this idea and I'm going to pull out some different ones. I'm going to put them back. I don't know what I'm going to use those alphas for. They're just so big. Not sure. And they're, they're kind of a more, um, antique looking style to me. So I don't know what I'm going to use them for. I'm looking at those down at the bottom to see if I want to use those. And then I pull out the everyday eclectic set and I'm going to use these alphas instead. So it's going to say memories. I'm just going to start on the bottom right. I'll take me a moment. These are uh, black with like gray, I believe it's a gray chevron. I will have all the still photos at the end so you can take a look at the completed project, especially since I'm not going to show you every single page in the process. You can see all that at the end. It was actually pretty simple embellishments, but I think I overthought some of the stuff because it was a gift and I wanted it to be perfect. So it takes me a little bit of time sometimes to make a decision when I feel that way. So I'm debating on what else to add here have all these different stickers from both of the collections and I'm just trying to see if anything else is fitting. Since I was trying to keep it flat, um, I don't add a whole lot of extra embellishments other than stickers and papers and cut apart things. So I've got these um, silver foil stickers and I'm looking at adding favorite right here. I did add that heart 
from the Everyday Eclectic sticker sheet. And then I'm going to pull out, I believe, let's just check. I think this is, I'm looking to see if I have all the letters because I have a whole bunch of these, but I've used a lot of them too. So I'd have to use, I could have used it with those, but I would have had to use capital letters. And I thought that was going to look funny with the lowercase memories. So I'm going to end up settling on, um, Still looking to see if there's anything else I want to pick from here. On these color theory uh, alphas, they have the alphabet at the top, and then they have at the very bottom, they have a whole bunch of stars and geo tags in two different sizes. And I love those. Those are perfect just for adding um, a slight little bit to to a page or to a um, Project Life card or to this mini album. I think I've mostly used them in Project Life cards just because they're so small, but it fits perfectly for this mini album as well. So I'm using the color theory letters in inky black to do the favorite part. So it's going to say favorite memories. And because these alphas are so tiny and delicate, it takes me a little bit to get them situated. I end up using the edge of my scissors just to kind of move them around a bit. You can also use the tip of your um, craft blade or exacto knife whichever you use to do this and the dot on the eye is so impossible to get off without something that's pointy because it is minuscule like it is tiny I probably just could have used a pen and drew the dot easier than getting it off of this sticker sheet and then of course I drop it and have to pick it up and put it where it goes so all that being said I love these little alphas but they are sometimes difficult to work with and I just have the gray and the black. I use gray and black more than I use just about any other color. Um, so I kind of stocked up on those. I'm just adding a few more of those little tiny stars. Now I'm going to work on the back. So I saw as I was flipping through the papers, I saw a little... Um, strip of paper right here on this cut apart sheet and it says top 10 and since I was having 10 memories in this album it was perfect so I'm just going to cut it out here and I'm going to use it on the back um, cover so I do have a front cover and a back cover and you could definitely you know eliminate these and have less pages or add more memories or do whichever you choose So it's going to go here at the bottom, and then I'm going to put this border. I just have to take all the little holes out. All of these little scallop borders. I still have not bought a scallop punch, and I need to because it's so cute. So I just added that border after I punched out all the little holes, and I'm going to mat this top 10. I didn't cut it perfectly straight, so I'm going to mat it on this, on this gray, and then just cut it since... It was just so tiny, I couldn't fit it in my paper trimmer, and then I couldn't get it straight. And of course I didn't cut it straight the first time, so I've got to cut it again. And I'm using the same gray that is used to mat this back cover. I'm just going to glue that on. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to do a double mat here and do it on white. I used a lot of paper in this album, but I had to make up for not having the pictures or the photos. So there's a, this this paper, this album is pretty paper heavy. I used everything from my stash. The only thing I had to buy were the tabbed cards, and I didn't really know how I was going to do it, it. But I was in Tuesday morning over probably about two months ago and I saw it and it was perfect because I knew exactly what I had in mind to do I just didn't know exactly how I was going to do it so once I saw these seven gypsies cards I knew it was perfect and I, I think I have over half of them left I still have a good amount so I'm using another one of these roses on the back it was a little bit too big so I just have it layer off the edge and I cut off the little leaves that are excess and then I'm going to um, add the top 10 right there on top of that and since it was already all glued down it's a little bit difficult to cut off the edge so I'm just using my scissors to kind of get up under there and make it as clean as possible so it's going to say top 10 right there and you can see I have my memories printed out there on the right side on that white card stock. And I printed with a gray rounded border. It's kind of a sketchy looking border. And then the ink is um, black, I believe. Or a really dark gray. I can't remember what I actually chose. So I'm just going to hand cut these out so they have a little bit of a white border. I don't mat the um, journaling. I just leave it on this white 
cardstock as is with that gray border. And I do have 10 separate memories. The last memory has a bit of a, it's kind of a letter. The other ones are just, you know, written in, you know, my viewpoint of memories that I remember, um, things that I remember that I loved. And some of them are, I mean, they're real simple. There are things, you know, like our everyday stuff where we were on the swim team during the summer and we always went to the pool every day um, to actual trips that we took that I remember. So it's a mixture of specific things and just kind of general things. Um and I have a mixture here, and I, I vary them up. There's no um, rhyme or reason to the order I put them in. I just, I actually pick them based on the embellishment I was going to use in the background paper. So I'm going to add a little bit of, I use different um, embellishments. Um, here I'm going to use some ribbon. This is just some of the American Crafts ribbon that was purchased from TJ Maxx. And since it's already glued down, I just pull it up and then I add a little bit of washi on the back. And here's where I've already, I've purchased more glue runner now. So I have something to work with. And I'm just adhering this with some washi on the back. Um, it's not going to, it, it'll definitely stay down because I've got the extra, um, glue runner it just takes me a minute to get it lined up to where it's it's completely flat and it doesn't have that extra slack in the ribbon there you go and then like I was saying the last page of the album is a little bit more of a letter it's it has a um, memory included but then at the end I put love I think I put love Mel because that's what my mom calls me as Mel I'm going to use these alpha stickers I primarily pull from these two collections, so the whole thing coordinates, but I do include a couple of things from my stash along the way. There's one memory that's about meal time where we're sitting at the dinner table, and so I actually had a Project Life card from, um, I think it was a recipes mini collection or mini kit, and it had a fork on it, so I cut out the fork and actually used it um, to, to embellish behind it. And so this one is called Playing Outside. So each, each one has a little bit of a title um, just to kind of explain what the story is about. And then, of course, it tells the story. Sometimes the embellishment really doesn't, isn't really themed. It's just embellishing it. Like this one doesn't have a whole lot to do with being outside other than these little birds that I'm going to put on this little ribbon. Because it just made me think of being outside in nature. So that one says playing outside. I'm adding a few rhinestones here, and this is about as bulky as I get. This was the first page I completed, and this is where I realized, okay, I can't do very much bulk on the inside. The ribbon was already a little bit, um, was thicker, so I take those rhinestones off, and I add them to the front cover, and I just add a few more to, to make it seem purposeful and not just that, you know, they got stuck on there. And on the inside, I ended up adding, I believe, a little heart or a little star where I had put those rhinestones to begin with. All right, so I'm going to work on the second page here. And this one is, let's see, what is this one? Oh, this one is about, okay, this one, we used to have an Astro van as a kid. And um, so this van was like, it was new when we got it, but I just remember it being, um, kind of starting as it started to get old um like we would sit in the middle bench seat and you know how I had the plastic ribbing on the seat well it cracked over time and so we would sit on it but you'd have to sit with your legs like in between where the plastic ribbing was or you'd get pinched because you'd sit on it and then the plastic would move and it would pinch you the cracks would pinch you so that's what this little memory is about. It's it's about being in that van. And then we had I had two sisters. And so we were always getting into source, some sort of trouble. And my mom had this like wooden spoon that she would keep in the car. And she would, you know, pop our legs with it if we said something too smart or too sassy. And so I just have all these funny memories of her sitting there like waving that thing around trying to get one of us while she's driving. So, <laughs> so I'm sure she'd probably kill me for telling you guys that. But it's funny to think about now, and my sisters and I always laugh about it because it was, it was definitely something we remember. And so that's what this, this story is about, just a couple of the memories of the van that we used to drive, and it was a gray van, which is why I have the letters. I, I was trying to do it all in gray, but I didn't have the right all the right letters, so I have the, um, the R and the van in the gray letters, and then the Astro in the black letters, and those are from the color theory 
um, collection again from Studio Calico. So this is the last one I'm going to show you and um, if you'll stay tuned at the end you'll be able to see all the pages that I completed. Um, I really enjoyed doing this project for my mom. Um, it was it had stopped all my other scrapbooking actually to get it completed just because it was you know of course Mother's Day was coming up and then it just it was something that I wanted to do. I've had it as an idea since her birthday and her birthday was in January so I didn't get it I didn't start it in enough time to do it for her birthday so I ended up doing it for Mother's Day and I just think it's I think it's such a good idea especially for you know now that I'm older I'm I'm 30 years old and so these stories you know I, I don't want them to fade even more over time so I wanted to get them you know down and I'll probably I kept all the journaling that I did so I'm probably going to add that to my scrapbook as well just to have the same stories in my album you know for my kids to read in the future so so this finishes it and um or finishes the part that I'm going to show you in process now um, I'm going to slow down this video and show you what the album looks like completed so this is I think about two or three days later after I do the first part and this is how it looks um, it says favorite memories on the front I did add some more hearts on the tabs and then I do add numbers on the tabs and that's from that color theory pack again so these are the pages you already saw this is playing outside and then um, our Astro van here on the right and you can see I've got everything completed with the numbers on the tabs I just thought it added a little bit something and I didn't like leaving them completely blank since I couldn't figure out how to to add the the color on it I went ahead and just did the stickers so this one is about camping we camped a lot as kids and we camped a lot at the beach so I have that little beach scene right there on a sticker this one is at Carowinds we went to Carowinds all the time when we were younger and we had um, uh, seasons passes there so I have a lot of memories from there this is meal time this is where I cut out that fork out of that project life card like I had mentioned to you and this was I have a sticker at the bottom that says our everyday because this is something we did every day this is road trips that stoplight is actually from and that, that echo park sticker sheet that you saw me pull out earlier and pull some um, I believe there were stars that I pulled off of there this one is the gardens. My mom always had rose gardens, as I mentioned, so I cut out a lot of roses from one of the 12 by 12 sheets of papers and just layered them here and there. They're pretty layered up, so it actually looks dimensional in person. This one is about books. We went to the library, the library all the time, again, as kids, and we didn't really watch TV a lot, so books are a big part of our childhood. Pool time. I had these little sunglasses that I used to cover the straight edge of that sun since it was cut off the corner of a card and this one says makes me happy and this is where I have the letter to my mom so it has a story and then at the bottom it has like a, a little letter thank you for everything you've done for us um, and then the back page and then I put stars on the tab on this back page um, I'll have still shots here at the very end you can definitely take a look at those and stop it stop the video pause it if you want to read the stories but again thank you for watching please like and subscribe and um, I'll see you again later bye